the thing I like about making these films is you can't do what you do on television. Like you, you know, there's like a seven second rule to a shot. I always, when I'm shooting, I always only ever have a shot last seven seconds because quite normally I've got a thousand shots to shoot. So I, I'm very careful. Most programs won't use a shot for more than seven seconds. They used to say 10, but I always said seven. But on YouTube, or on any long form format that we have now from streaming, you can pretty much just let it just let it run. You don't need music. The birds are the music. I see. Today I am at Hornsey. Weir Mere Ice Age Glacier and Hornsey Mere. As you stand overlooking Hornsey Mere, imagine a land of ice and snow and a huge glacier bringing rocks from Scandinavia and Scotland across the frozen seas and icy wastes. I have to apologise for not having all the information. I am getting used to this as we go and for me this is about walking not reading. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, it's lovely and peaceful, let's get going. This walk is about, uh, I think it's about eight miles. I, I'm i not really up for eight miles because I usually only do four and then I want to die. But, uh, so I'm gonna break this up into two four miles, which is a big ask for me. So I'm armed with water and coffee. That's it. I don't have any food because I'm on a special potato diet at the moment. Well, I said I don't really do much reading. I did uh, skim the, the guidebook and um, remember it telling me this was this mirror is only about I think, 12 feet deep at its deepest. So I don't know. I don't know what a mirror is, but I'm guessing it's to do with the glacier aspect. So if you know what a mirror is, you're an expert, leave a comment down below and let me know. Because I don't know and I, I don't know any experts. Here's a little uh, entrance system. There you go. Ooh, midges. I don't know if you can see the midges there. They will bite you, those fellas. I don't expect you can see them unless you're watching this at 4K. Just realised that I haven't um, I haven't set my app. I use the uh, Map My Walk app. I don't know why. It used to sync up to the Apple Watch. I don't have an Apple Watch anymore because I didn't find it worked. I'm going to start my, workout. starting the workout. But I've actually done a quarter of a mile, I would say. I must remember to pause this. I always forget. Anyway, I don't know why I do this, but I like to do it. Let that run in the background. 
head over there. So avoiding the, the midges and these extremely dangerous looking geese. A gaggle geese. Right, that is that field negotiated. And here's another year. There's another little gate system. These have a name, and I don't know what the name is. So, if you know the name of that gate system, let me know. Now, I'm not following a map here. I'm just going with the flow, because I'm pretty sure it's taking me the right way. But am I supposed to climb there? And go to that field and across to that gate over there. I think I do have to refer to my my guidebook here because this is a juncture although that doesn't look well trodden. Only one thing for it let's take a quick look at the guidebook. Why don't I just look at the, uh, the phone map? Find me. Oh, I think I'd just keep going along there. Yeah. Although it is boggy over there, I'm pretty sure they'll have thought of, they'll have thought of something to help me out. It's not a soul about today. A lot of wildlife in that mirror apparently, and there's lots of reeds. Well, lots of reeds. There you go. That's your ornithology for the day. It's all I know about birds. They like reeds. Some do. I saw, I, that I know for a fact. Other birds hate reeds. They're not here. There you have it. There's, there's reeds. Ooh. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at here, but I'm glad to see that the path has actually been... They've taken some uh, chalk stone, which is everywhere in East Yorkshire. The whole peninsula on the East Coast is built on this white chalk stone. Uh, and they've blocked off this muddy area, just for me, I believe. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming this is all just for me. But I could be mistaken, it could be for other people as well. The next stretch is a little bit same as before. Look at that lovely field there. Freshly budding crop. You can just see the green skim across the field as it undulates with the natural flow of the earth. I love it. Little junction here. Uh, that's very clearly a path going up there. There's also one going down there. Got all the geese out on that field where the new crops are. You can't see them. You can't see them sadly because they're too far away. But Lord, it's nice around here. But I'm not quite sure what direction to take, so I'm going to have to. Go to my Google Maps and find out. I'm heading down this way, which is straight ahead. I've checked the overhead map, and the next field has a, a, a definite path going across it, so I'm pretty sure this is the public pathway. Uh, so off, off I go. Quite often, public pathways can cut across farmers' fields. Um, I understand. Uh, you probably don't like it, but. Uh, I don't know, ancient rites of passage, I guess, or some such law that permits me to do it. So I'm going to do it!
I can't I can't really see why it would be dangerous. Maybe just uh, trying to lay in a deterrent to you know stop people wandering into their field. Which I can imagine is, you know, a big problem with farmers having kind of people just wandering around your, your land. I get it, I understand it. I'm not going there, it's dangerous. Welcome to the set of The Hobbit. We're about to visit the home of Bilbo Baggins. The videos I'm making are kind of um, watched while you're in the bath or when you're in the kitchen or when you're just relaxing or when you're sort of doing work on your computer and you've got it playing in the background. And that's what it is, it's about breathing, it's about relaxing, it's politics free, it's, it's opinion free, it's fun, it's light hearted. Um, and it's, I don't know, something I really, really enjoy right now. There you go. This is Hytus Ebonus Deliberus. It's not, I've got no idea. I don't know what it is. You know, tell me down in the comments. That's what I know. Apple blossom. Oh look, somebody's left a little thing here. Oh, it smells. It smells nice. The smell of spring. Look at this. I'm on a country road now. I, 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 act, well, I have actually just spoken to a couple of people and they said this is the right direction. Yeah, look through here, look. You can just see there's an orchard in there. A little cheeky peek through the hedgerow. Look at this. I found here a little gate, a little cheeky gate, private, no public access, it says. It's, look, it's uh, the Wassa and the bird hide. Please comply with all notices. This path is for use by bird hide members only. Why not join me in part two, where I finish this epic adventure around Hornsey? And uh, hopefully we'll find out if I make it. If you want to help me grow this channel, which is something I really, really want to do, um, then I really appreciate you um, just liking the video and um, you know, obviously subscribing to the channel. And if you want to know when I've uploaded more videos, you can hit the little no notification bell which is somewhere on the screen, you'll see it. Hit that and then it'll pop your little email say, oh, it's a new video. Uh, and if you've got any questions, stick it down in the comments below. Uh, I'm not a huge YouTuber, so I'll always have time to, uh, to, to pick out the more interesting questions and maybe sometime in the future, uh, actually feature those questions in a video. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope you'll be back to watch some more and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Like if you liked this video Or you can be bold And leave a comment down below Hit the notification bell To get an alert so I can tell you 
I've uploaded a video. They are okay.